The beluga whale. The beluga whale is an arctic and sub-arctic cetacean. It is one of two members of the family Monodontidae, along with the narwhal, and the only member of the genus Delphinapterus. It is also known as the white whale, as it is the only cetacean of this color, the sea canary, due to its high-pitched calls, and the melonhead, though that more commonly refers to the melon-headed whale, which is an oceanic dolphin. The beluga is adapted to life in the Arctic, so it has anatomical and physiological characteristics that differentiate it from other cetaceans. Amongst these are its all-white color and the absence of a dorsal fin, which allows it to swim under ice with ease. It possesses a distinctive protuberance at the front of its head which houses an echolocation organ called the melon, which in this species is large and deformable. The beluga's body size is between that of a dolphin and a true whale, with males growing up to 5.5 meters long and weighing up to 1,600 kg. This whale has a stocky body. Like many cetaceans, a large percentage of its weight is blubber. Its sense of hearing is highly developed and its echolocation allows it to move about and find breathing holes under sheet ice. Belugas are gregarious and form groups of 10 animals on average, although during the summer, they can gather in the hundreds or even thousands in estuaries and shallow coastal areas. They are slow swimmers, but can dive to 700 meters below the surface. They are opportunistic feeders and their diets vary according to their locations and the season. The majority of belugas live in the Arctic Ocean and the seas and coasts around North America, Russia and Greenland. Their worldwide population is thought to number around 150,000. They are migratory and the majority of groups spend the winter around the Arctic ice cap. When the sea ice melts in summer, they move to warmer river estuaries and coastal areas. Some populations are sedentary and do not migrate over great distances during the year. Belugas are one of the most commonly kept cetaceans in captivity and are housed in aquariums, dolphinariums and wildlife parks in North America, Europe and Asia. They are popular with the public due to their color and expression. Description. Its body is round, particularly when well fed, and tapers less smoothly to the head than the tail. The sudden tapering to the base of its neck gives it the appearance of shoulders, unique among cetaceans. The tail fin grows and becomes increasingly and ornately curved as the animal ages. The flippers are broad and short, making them almost square-shaped. Longevity. Preliminary investigations suggested a beluga's life expectancy was rarely more than 30 years. The method used to calculate the age of a beluga is based on counting the layers of dentin and dental cement in a specimen's teeth, which were originally thought to be deposited once or twice a year. The layers can be readily identified as one layer consists of opaque dense material and the other is transparent and less dense. It is therefore possible to estimate the age of the individual by extrapolating the number of layers identified and the estimated frequency with which the deposits are laid down. A 2006 study using radiocarbon dating of the dentin layers showed the deposit of this material occurs with a lesser frequency once per year than was previously thought. The study therefore estimated belugas can live for 70 or 80 years. However, recent studies suggest that it is unclear as to whether belugas receive a different number of layers per year depending on the age of the animal, or simply just one layer per year or every other year. Size. The species presents a moderate degree of sexual dimorphism, as the males are 25% longer than the females and are sturdier. Adult male belugas can range from 3.5 to 5.5 meters, while the females measure 3 to 4.1 meters. Males weigh between 1,100 and 1,600 kilograms, and occasionally up to 1,900 kilograms, while females weigh between 700 and 1,200 kilograms. They rank as mid-sized species among toothed whales. Color. The adult beluga is rarely mistaken for any other species, because it is completely white or whitish gray in color. Calves are usually born gray, and by the time they are a month old, have turned dark gray or blue gray. They then start to progressively lose their pigmentation until they attain their distinctive white coloration, at the age of 7 years in females and 9 in males. The white coloration of the skin is an adaptation to life in the Arctic that allows belugas to camouflage themselves in the polar ice caps as protection against their main predators, polar bears and killer whales. Unlike other cetaceans, the belugas seasonally shed their skin. During the winter, the epidermis thickens and the skin can become yellowish, mainly on the back and fins. When they migrate to the estuaries during the summer, they rub themselves on the gravel of the riverbeds to remove the cutaneous covering. Head and neck. 
Like most toothed whales, it has a compartment found at the center of the forehead that contains an organ used for echolocation called a melon, which contains fatty tissue. The shape of the beluga's head is unlike that of any other cetacean, as the melon is extremely bulbous, lobed and visible as a large frontal prominence. Another distinctive characteristic it possesses is the melon is malleable, its shape is changed during the emission of sounds. The beluga is able to change the shape of its head by blowing air around its sinuses to focus the emitted sounds. This organ contains fatty acids, mainly isovaleric acid and long-chain branched acids, a very different composition from its body fat, and which could play a role in its echolocation system. Unlike many dolphins and whales, the seven vertebrae in the neck are not fused together, allowing the animal to turn its head laterally without needing to rotate its body. This gives the head a lateral maneuverability that allows an improved field of view and movement and helps in catching prey and evading predators in deep water. The rostrum has about 8 to 10 small, blunt and slightly curved teeth on each side of the jaw and a total of 36 to 40 teeth. Belugas do not use their teeth to chew, but for catching hold of their prey, they then tear them up and swallow them nearly whole. Belugas only have a single spiracle, which is located on the top of the head behind the melon, and has a muscular covering, allowing it to be completely sealed. Under normal conditions, the spiracle is closed and an animal must contract the muscular covering to open the spiracle. A beluga's thyroid gland is larger than that of terrestrial mammals, weighing three times more than that of a horse, which helps it to maintain a greater metabolism during the summer when it lives in river estuaries. It is the marine cetacean that most frequently develops hyperplastic and neoplastic lesions of the thyroid. Fins. The fins retain the bony vestiges of the beluga's mammalian ancestors, and are firmly bound together by connective tissue. The fins are small in relation to the size of the body, rounded and oar-shaped and slightly curled at the tips. These versatile extremities are mainly used as a rudder to control direction, to work in synchrony with the tail fin and for agile movement in shallow waters up to 3 meters deep. The fins also contain a mechanism for regulating body temperature, as the arteries feeding the fins muscles are surrounded by veins that dilate or contract to gain or lose heat. The tail fin is flat with two oar-like lobes, it does not have any bones, and is made up of hard, dense, fibrous connective tissue. The tail fin has a distinctive curvature along the lower edge. The longitudinal muscles of the back provide the ascending and descending movement of the tail fin, which has a similar thermoregulation mechanism to the pectoral fins. Senses. The beluga has a very specialized sense of hearing and its auditory cortex is highly developed. It can hear sounds within the range of 1.2 to 120 kHz, with the greatest sensitivity between 10 and 75 kHz, where the average hearing range for humans is 0.02 to 20 kHz. The majority of sounds are most probably received by the lower jaw and transmitted towards the middle ear. In the toothed whales, the lower jawbone is broad with a cavity at its base, which projects towards the place where it joins the cranium. A fatty deposit inside this small cavity connects to the middle ear. Toothed whales also possess a small external auditory hole a few centimeters behind their eyes, each hole communicates with an external auditory conduit and an eardrum. It is not known if these organs are functional or simply vestigial. Belugas are able to see within and outside of water, but their vision is relatively poor when compared to dolphins. Their eyes are especially adapted to seeing underwater, although when they come into contact with the air, the crystalline lens and the cornea adjust to overcome the associated myopia, the range of vision underwater is short. A beluga's retina has cones and rods, which also suggests they can see in low light. The presence of cone cells indicates they can see colors, although this suggestion has not been confirmed. Glands located in the medial corner of their eyes secrete an oily, gelatinous substance that lubricates the eye and helps flush out foreign bodies. This substance forms a film that protects the cornea and the conjunctiva from pathogenic organisms. Studies on captive animals show they seek frequent physical contact with other belugas. Areas in the mouth have been found that could act as chemoreceptors for different tastes, and they can detect the presence of blood in water, which causes them to react immediately by displaying typical alarm behavior. Like the other toothed whales, their brains lack olfactory bulbs and olfactory nerves, which suggests they do not have a sense of smell. Thanks for watching.